Hello there, it is a Tuesday, which means it's time for another in real life video. Or I guess uh, more aptly, it is Monday for me. I'm recording this on Skyrim Day, the anniversary of Skyrim coming out, I think 13 years ago, 11-11. Uh, and also, uh, if you happen to know, or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that 11-11 is also Corduroy Day, hence the corduroy jacket. And you can't see them, but some corduroy pants as well. But uh, nonetheless, it's time for another general viewer submitted question. As per usual, if you would like to submit a question yourself, feel free to do so. Helps a ton if you include a question mark with your query because it lets me add it to an ever-growing uh, document that I've got going. Anyway, this week I thought we would do something sort of tied to Skyrim, right? Uh, which isn't to say that I don't always like to talk about Skyrim or the Elder Scrolls at large. Um, quite enjoy it. But I figured, hey, if there were ever a time, it should be now, right? Uh, anyway, the person who submitted this week's question, their username should be somewhere in the lower third of the screen. And they ask, or they say and ask. My question is about Skyrim and more specifically the events after Skyrim. Who do you think could defeat the Aldmeri Dominion? Do you think there's a scenario where the Thalmor can be stopped and defeated? And if so, by whom? Um, a question on everyone's mind, I think, when it comes to Elder Scrolls VI. Uh, I think there's three major possibilities, right? When it came to Elder Scrolls prior to Skyrim, so... Oblivion, Morrowind, Daggerfall, and to some degree, Arena. Uh, they were all originally envisioned as being like a story arc, right? Sort of the final waning years, sort of, or, or I guess the life and times of Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh. Uh, if I were to guess, I would I would guess that maybe we're entering a new sort of arc, right? A new sort of major arc, wherein this is like a story arc that spans multiple games. And I would say uh, that that would probably be about the third Aldmeri Dominion's potential conquest of the Tamrielic Empire as we know it. And if we assume that this is meant to be a major arc, I would guess that Elder Scrolls Six will be, you know, the dark middle chapter, as it were. And sort of the Aldmeri, the third Aldmeri Dominion, at least, will see its conclusion. That that arc will come to a conclusion with Elder Scrolls Seven. Lord knows how many games in the, or how many years into the future. And I and I guess games. I don't know. There could be a spinoff. I doubt it, but there could be. Um. But there is that route wherein we're kind of in the middle of things with Elder Scrolls Six. Um. And there's no expect there's no reasonable expectation of like the entire conflict coming to a conclusion by the end of that game, but there could be like some sort of major conclusion or major I wouldn't say cliffhanger because they don't often do that. They're more prone to um, having a lot of stuff happen in between games, right? Rather than leaving it on any sort of major cliffhanger, uh, because I think major cliffhangers like that are difficult to do in open world games like sandboxy games, you know, so it works better to have it sort of all play out between, I don't know, installments of, of games, right? So I think I'm open to that possibility. I think that's likely. Um, also, gosh, what was my third one then? Hmm. Oh, oh, right. The, the two ways in which it goes about. Um, I think there's a possibility in which, sure, uh, maybe there's a change of plans or uh, this was never in the cards or it was always in the cards that in Elder Scrolls 6, it'll come to an end and um, the Aldmeri Dominion will be defeated. Or like I said, maybe that's not the major arc, right? Maybe the major arc is something even grander, right? Like the end of uh, this Kalpa, as it were, which which would be, you know, within greater Elder Scrolls lore, like... um this version of existence coming to an end. Maybe that's the the sort of grander arc 
the grander narrative at play and not the Aldmeri Dominion or the third Aldmeri Dominion. Sorry. Um, it's possible that it resolves itself and they are defeated. Um, that would be, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, I feel like if they went that route, you would need to do a whole lot of world building, right? Which could be very fascinating. Um, but I cannot help but feel as if they will save that for some form of player intervention, right? It's possible that they have it like, oh yeah, um, the next game is set so-and-so many, many years after Skyrim, or maybe not even that many, right? Uh, you know, wars like that could play out at any scale of any, any speed, you know? Uh, but you could say like, oh, these these members of the empire came together and were able to oust the Aldmeri dominion. And because they kind of saved the hides of the Tamrielic empire, they're back in kind of a position of power. And they also have discontent and are seeking, uh, similarly to take over, uh, the, the empire as it were, right. Or they're seeking to dissolve the empire as it were, and just go into more, I don't know, more independent a more independent tamriel you know without the empire uh because they solved it without the the need of the empire right the the main selling point of the empire is having like this centralized uh almost collective force uh right when it comes to the military at, at the very least Obvi obviously there's a lot more benefits if you are imperial right if you're running around operating things in the imperial city that you get a lot of money Right, you have a lot of benefits from having these provinces, um, but there's that possibility wherein so it, it's solved in between videos, but or, or not in between videos. Sorry, I'm so used to saying that in between games. Um, but like I said, I find that to be probably the least likely of the three options, right? And the final one would be, of course. Uh, that it gets resolved in the middle of a game. Uh, that could be Elder Scrolls Six. It could be Seven. It could be even further out, right? It depends on if they want to make this like a major arc or not. Um, I don't know. I I can very easily envision that being the case, right? Them continuing to be like the big bad, as it were, or one of the big bads, and then you have sort of a more supernatural big bad, almost akin to the dragons, right? Or some sort of weapon that they're utilizing or wielding against everybody. Uh, but it's so easy to envision a sort of world in which there's an Elder Scrolls game. And you have to broker peace and unite a whole bunch of um, sort of key militaries, right? Um, if we're looking into like Elder Scrolls 6, there's like Scuttlebutt and Rumor which I think is completely unfounded, right? I, I, I don't think there's anything solid about this whatsoever, um, about it being in, like, sort of the the High Rock, Hammerfell area, maybe like a dual province game uh, is within the realm of possibility. So you have two, like, sort of, like, major military forces, and there could be, like, a little section where you go back to Skyrim, just a small section, and Skyrim itself isn't part of, like, the the main... Uh, open world that you can explore but you can go there for like a little mission in like a self-contained area and you can see like a memorable location that you saw and you, everybody gets hit with a bit of nostalgia and we're like wow what a memorable fun quest and all of that i got to see i don't know solitude again or windhelm or or we got to go to um a white run right and have a meeting there as this new character right it's very cool to see the the town again right you could totally do that it, like i said it writes itself uh, sort of uh, very, I don't know, very tropey, very tropey. Uh, how, how many fantasy works of fiction have it to where you're like unifying several, I don't know, or, or just how many grand works of fiction in general, not let alone fantasy, wherein uh, the protagonist must somehow unite all of these uh, different groups under the same banner. Um, Lord knows that's kind of what you do in Skyrim itself, right? You can you, you don't necessarily unite them, but you get them to have a ceasefire, so that way uh, you can sort of take on the dragon threat. Uh, same goes with Oblivion. You're, like, uniting all of the different, uh, what do you call them, major cities beyond the Imperial City. 
uh, sort of uniting them all at the Great Gate. I guess Morrowind isn't exactly like a story of unification in that sense, right? Morrowind, not so much, right? And uh, dating back, I, d- I don't actually know. I, d- I don't know for sure how, how they all play out. Uh, probably on the to-do list, right? Uh, to-, to figure it out. Uh, but nonetheless, like I said, it's so tropey, it, it practically writes itself. Um, I could very easily see that being like the duty of the protagonist and uh, with their new sort of vehicle system, you know, depending on how well that plays out, I could very easily see a way in which, sure, you could have a whole bunch of like troops on the ground, you know, sort of to show off like, oh, here's a, this is a great army battling up against another one, right? But if if you do it at sea, right, you can have ships with a few NPCs and stuff on top of them or what looks like them. And uh, maybe they're not fully kitted out in, in, with the same sort of um, AI or whatever, so it's not as complicated. But you have a whole bunch of sailing ships and all of that going to war, and you sort of get to see that play out at sea or at like a beachfront or something like that. And you get to see all that go down. And that, that would be a fun way to sort of like show like, oh, this is a great massive conflict. Uh, but you don't have to render out like tons of individual troops and all of that sort of going going at it, which would be fairly difficult for um, the the game engine or probably most any game engine to render out something at that scale. Uh, but, you know, vehicles kind of help that having it be to where like sailing ships represent um, like a large amount of people, you know, have some great conflict or whatever in that sense. And you could even have like, I don't know. You, you could do a new medium. You could do an on new medium. I don't know. Um, I feel like a lot of people would love to see that, right? But I can't, I, I almost can't shake the feeling that uh, maybe we're veering too close into Liberty Prime territory. Uh, but who can say? Uh, either way, like I said, uh, that that's the main thing I could see for Elder Scrolls Six is that it's the player who is solving it. It's the player who brings together a bunch of like military powers in order to uh, go up against the Aldmeri Dominion. Um, I guess there is the option, right? Uh, there, There is a way in which uh, you lose, right? In which everybody loses against the Aldmeri Dominion. They have completely taken over the Tamrielic Empire, right? Uh, maybe they are this party in which they win, right? They have completely subsumed the, the Tamrielic Empire. They've taken over. Um, it becomes the Aldmeri Empire, or the, the Dominion Empire, I don't know. Uh, probably still keep Empire and uh, just make it make it far worse, right? Uh, that would be a fun way, and you wouldn't have to worry about, right, if it's, if, if, if it's the aftermath and you have to take down this, like, corrupt empire from within, uh, which, okay, corrupt empire, right? The Tamrielic Empire, as we know it uh, in Skyrim and Prior, isn't exactly uh, rid of corruption or... Um, uh, bad actors or anything like that. They're quite bad on their own. But something even worse, right? Uh, the Al- the third Aldmeri Dominion gains control th- through force or through bureau- bureaucracy or both, and you have to take them out from within. I, I could totally see that it playing out that way. And if anything, that'd be far easier to do because you don't need to do any sort of like immense battles for the big final showdown. It could just be you know, it could it could be very Star Wars. It could be very Luke Skywalker versus Darth Vader at the end, except probably without the twist, right? But you could have very very much like a uh, two individuals kind of going at it, who are particularly skilled or whatever in some big ultimate showdown. And I guess after that, right, you could still have it set up in the world state where it's like, oh yeah, there's still a bunch of people who believe in the cause of the third Aldmeri Dominion, and you need to take them out, right? You could run around the open world and sort of take care of shit like that. Um, that's entirely within the realm of possibility. Yeah, so if anything, that that would probably be my three... Yeah, let, let me sort of recalibrate that. Uh, my three ways in which it could go, which is... For Elder Scrolls Six, it's just a dark middle chapter. Um... Right, we don't see it resolved in the next game, or it is resolved, and it resolved in the favor of the Aldmeri Dominion, and you must bring them down. Right, sort of a 
like I said, uh, you could have it be very XCOM 2, right? And sort of toward the end, you could even have interesting moments of introspection sort of on whether or not the Empire should come back, right? After you defeat the third Aldmeri Dominion and their version of the Tamrielic Empire, the Aldmeri Empire or whatever you would call it, um, you could ask the player, give them like a moral choice and decide like, how, how would you want to proceed with this, right? All along the way, you could be sort of throughout the main quest, you could be sort of showing off like, yeah, remember this from this game? Maybe the the Empire wasn't that cool, right? Maybe, maybe uh, have you ever thought about how maybe the Tamrielic Empire kind of sucks, actually? Um, do we really want them back after all of this, after we've gone through this? Maybe we could inst- we could seize this moment to institute our own kind of change, right? But, of course, by, by way of going through that, um, I don't know how you would write Elder Scrolls Seven if you give the player that much agency over it, right? So you're kind of put in a difficult spot. Uh, that said, of course, if you want to, just make it significantly further in the future, like how they did with Oblivion, right? Um, put enough time in between the games uh, in world, and you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. And like I said, the uh, the third one being that the player resolves it, right? Player resolves it, uh, it's already been resolved, or you have to wait until Elder Scrolls Seven or further for it to be resolved. Those are my three sort of options. Some more likely than others, right? Some, like I said, practically write themselves. I think that all do it, right? Those are my thoughts on sort of the status of the Aldmeri Dominion. I think they're too fun and perhaps too prescient of a villain to let go so early, right? I feel like there's still a whole lot that you could write about them about sort of like a hostile, ill-intending force taking over, right? I feel like that's, uh, I feel like the world's maybe primed for that, <laughs> you know, for a story like that. I, I feel like there, there's, uh, there's a lot more to be said, so hopefully they don't sort of close us off from that. I think that was uh, fairly compelling stuff, and like I said, it lends credence to the idea that there will be different arcs within uh, each major game. Like I said, the, the first four sort of revolving more around Uriel Septim's life and times and, and death. And then this could be more so about the third Aldmeri Dominion. Anyway, that ought to do it for this week. Until next time, please take care of each other.